What do you got? Oh my gosh, I think a clown. You think that's gonna be a clownfish? Yeah. We're in the clownfish spot, Blake. All right, hold on. Wow, that was a cool bite. What happened? I just saw the line get tight, and Seth told me once that happens, you set that hook as hard as you can. And you, oh, look at that. Okay, what do we got there? That's what we call a sunshine bass. Okay. This is species number two for us today. Look at that. These it's a are, beautiful it's, it's fish. It's a cross between a freshwater striper and a white bass. Oh, here we go. Switch to the peacock bass. And I got to tell you something, folks. This is kind of interesting. And whoa, there we go. Peacocks are good fighters, huh, Seth? Oh, they're the best. Okay, buddy. All right, man. Is that beautiful? One? Yay! Hey, my first oh. peacock <laughs> bass ever. Boy, is that, that now? Is that an average? I would say that's an average sized fish, and usually the males have a big hump on the back of their head. Yeah, poor Ryan the photographer, he's trying to fish with me. And seriously, Ryan, it is every single cast you get a bite. You well, for that? you it is. I haven't even been able to get a cast. Okay, we got ourselves another Jack Travel. Yep, another Jack Travel. And there are cobia here, there are mackerel here, and there are sharks here too. Hey, look at that, Ryan's got a fish out. Unbelievable, finally. What, what's it feel like, buddy? Uh, it feels small-ish okay. compared to what you caught. Well, we don't know what they are. No, we don't. There is another Jack Cravel. Yeah, let's bring him up on the swim platform here. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, way to go, buddy. Let's go. No, they just battle you. They're like a giant bluegill. It's crazy. They dart. Oh, they won't go everywhere. I mean, it's just insane. That's a cool fish. They're just, that's, I can't imagine one of these being gigantic. Well, I, we stay out here a while. We got a shot at a 30-pounder. So you've been telling me. 